Hey there everyone, this is Ray Carcel for Classic Game Room, and I hesitantly admit that I've never been a huge fan of World War II or other historically based games. I felt that it limited the imagination of the player and the developers because at the end of the day, no matter what happens in the game, we all know the outcome. That leads us into today's review. In Velvet Assassin, you play as a female British secret agent during World War II, with the gameplay revolving around your lurking in the shadows and undermining the Nazi regime in 1943-1944 Western Europe. A semi-original storyline based off a real-life World War II British agent that didn't revolve around troop movements and taking out tanks with bazooka launchers. It deals with the grittier, darker side of war. Sneaking cyanide capsules to capture double agents, infiltrating enemy strongholds and single-handedly sabotaging their oil lines or railways, and assassinating high-ranking officials in the middle of the night and having to escape undetected. The great thing about this game is that it emphasizes the stealth more than anything, and it's rare to see a game do this nowadays and be so unforgiving if you're caught. Yes, games like Splinter Cell and Metal Gear have unforgiving stealth elements as well, but then again you could hide in a crappy cardboard box and get away with it, or have a wealth of high-tech weapons and devices at any moment to help dispatch your enemies. At no time during this game do you have any more than three weapons, one of which is your ever-present knife, to remind you that the best kill is the one that doesn't make a sound, aside from the satisfying noise of your defeated foe gurgling on his own blood. The gameplay was a nice changer from the more forgivable run-and-gun style shooters that flood today's market. Of course, this style of game also lends itself to a lot of trial and error, as you learn enemy patrol routes and whatnot, and it can be frustrating at times when they change it up and you have to listen to their inane conversations for the third or fourth time. While the game makes you think and work to succeed in ways that most games don't anymore, the story engrosses you in the character with what has always been a limited subject matter for originality. Firstly, the female lead, Violet Summer, is an attention grabber just due to the overall lack of strong female leads in games. At least ones that aren't spilling out of tank tops or giggling like prepubescent schoolgirls. Not that I'm complaining by any means, just making a point. I love you, Lara. Add in that Violet is one of the prime weapons for the British on the front lines, sometimes doing the unthinkable, and you've already built a deeper female lead than you'll find in most other games or series revolving around the fairer sex. But that wasn't enough for South Peak Games. To add on top of it, the entire game is her memories of the war, while she is in a coma from injuries that are explained as you progress. This also ties into one of the more interesting aspects of the gameplay. You can collect morphine over the course of most levels that represent an increase of her real-life dosage to help slow things down for her and make her dreams less strenuous and less difficult for you. Along with the great gameplay and plot, the game is graphically beautiful. From lurking in the shadows of ancient European cathedrals to trudging through the sewers of French ghettos, the visuals are simply superb. And the shadows are so critical to the entire game as you cross in front of floodlights and watch your silhouette raise the attention of the dozing off guards, or you take out the lights to bathe the room in obsidian safety. Include a haunting soundtrack where you can actually feel your blood begin to race from the tension as if you were in the shoes of the heroine herself, and you know that the wrong move could alert the enemy to your position and almost definitely forfeit your life. The atmosphere that was created with so little, and the clandestine nature of the game leaves you breathless, like when you stare directly into the vapid eyes of the gas mask of a flame trooper while he patrols right in front of you. Another surprise with Velvet Assassin is that there is also some strong replay value to this single player experience. Each level has a special war themed collectible, and with literally hundreds of ways to make your way through each scenario, you'll never play any level the same way twice. Not to mention Velvet Assassin doesn't stack achievements, so you'll have to beat it at least twice, once for each difficulty level, to get 100% completion on it for you fellow achievement whores out there. Time accurate weaponry and locales, stunning graphics, and powerful atmospheric elements that stay with you well after you turn your Xbox 360 off makes this game a great overall experience. If you're tired of the usual run and gun and looking for a little more strategy from your shooters, then Velvet Assassin is a must have. <laughs>